On today's episode of In The Know, we'll be exploring how you can now use org charts and QuickBooks Online Payroll to communicate team structure and build alignment. Here's what to expect. You'll see an Intuit product leader give a deep dive demo, and we'll then hear from pro advisors Nayo Carter-Gray and Aaron Bulick. Hey, pro advisors, I'm Jacqueline, and you're watching In The Know. It's the show designed to keep you in the know on the most exciting updates to QuickBooks Online. So here's the scoop. Employers and employees alike want to see a clear view of their team and business. So we've built a brand new team directory feature so that you can visualize and communicate the team structure. And now for the fast facts. The team directory launched in January of 2024 and is available to users of QuickBooks Online Payroll who are on core, premium, and elite in the US and Canada. To access it, navigate to the payroll menu, then employees, then org chart. If you find this update interesting or helpful, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll turn now to Intuit product leader, Annie, for her to give a deep dive demo. Hey, Annie, welcome to the show. Awesome. Um, thanks so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Um, hey, everyone. I'm super excited to be talking to you all about the org chart feature. Let's actually get into checking out what this experience looks like. So let's jump into uh, an account, actually. Um, here we have my um, pseudo account. I wish it was real of Annie's Apple Orchard and Pumpkin Patch. So I can see here that I went from the employee list into the organizational chart on the right side here. In this chart, I see the hierarchy of my team and I can see my five direct reports. I also see here at the bottom that there's someone with no manager assigned, Nicholas Guan. So I'm gonna go into this assign manager experience, sort this by manager or employee. I'm gonna choose by employee right now. I can find Nicholas based on this in alphabetical order, select the manager who I know to be Varun given Nick is a pumpkin picker. I'm going to find the head pumpkin picker who I know is Varun and select that. I see that automatically saves that relationship and I click done. I now no longer see Nick at the bottom and if I click under Varun, I see that Nick is right there nested within this specific reporting structure. So I can see Varun reports to Annie and I can see Nicholas reports to Varun and I'm able to do this in understanding the nesting structure for any one of these you know, nested reporting structures below my own head role as the owner. Additionally, within this experience, I'm able to click into show org chart in workforce. And this setting is great to be able to have control of what your employees see in their workforce experience. So once you and your client feel that this is representative of your team and you feel confident about what the org chart looks like, you're able to click show org chart in workforce. And then depending on the privacy needs of your employees, you can either, either include or not include email address and phone numbers in this experience and then click apply. And then this experience will then be available for your employees to view in their workforce experience. So I'll hop over here and quickly show what that would look like. So the employees would be able to go into their workforce experience, which is a, you know, a pulled back version of, of QuickBooks and really just gives them mainly personal info on pay and documents. But now they're able to see an org chart additionally shown in that experience. So they're able to go leverage a lot of the reporting nested structure functionality, as well as click in and view a larger view of the profile picture and be able to connect directly by clicking on the email, as well as the phone number to be able to immediately connect with their teammates. Um, this also doesn't have some of the bells and whistles such as editing, so they don't have enough control to, to be able to make any changes to it. But yeah, that's it for me. Thank you so much for having me um, come and talk about WorkChart. Amy, thank you so much for that demo. That was fantastic. We'll turn now to Pro Advisors Nayo Carter Gray and Aaron Vuglick. Aaron, Nayo, thank you so much for joining me on this episode of In the Know. It's so great to have you here. Thanks for having us. Thank you. <laughs> well, today we're talking about org charts. So, Aaron, let me start with you. I know that it's pretty rare for Pro Advisors to actually set up the org charts on their clients' behalf, but there's a huge opportunity to actually advise clients on how to take care of their team. So I'd love to hear about how you have those conversations with your clients. Usually it starts out with uh, bringing the new clients on and as they're onboarding their team into payroll, uh, starting with the org chart is incredibly helpful for them, especially if they haven't even considered 
putting together an org chart yet. Uh, it makes it so clear for the employees to know who they're answering to, where in the organization they need to go, uh, especially with clients that are on like a high growth, fast growth track. Um, they're going to be adding more team members pretty quickly and immediately putting them into the org chart can be so clarifying for everyone on the team. Yeah, I'll add to that too. What it also adds a bit of personality, especially with mm. payroll. If those employees are adding their pictures, um, and working with with uh, clients that have remote team members, it's kind of like a first introduction to who are these people I'm working with, what do they look like, um, and and you can kind of see some of their personalities just from those pictures. <laughs> I have to second that being able to see people's image uh, before you hop on a Zoom call or see them in person is so nice to at least have a little bit of like foundation going into that introduction. Like, okay, I've seen this face before, it's familiar, makes me a little confident. So I definitely love the pictures. So Erin, you brought up a really good point, which is this typically comes up when you're onboarding clients to their payroll mm -hmm. solution. Now I'm curious to hear from you, some pro advisors may be thinking, okay, I get org charts, but how do I bring this up to my clients? It's like when in the flow of the client relationship, would you bring something like this up? Really, I think it could happen at any time uh, if they're adding new employees or maybe hiring people in middle management who are you know, expanding that org chart. Um, really kind of any conversation about people management. Uh, I think you can have this conversation um, because you're dealing with people and they need to know who to answer to. And I agree. So, you know, one of the, the things I like to do is, you know, maybe at, at those periods of time where we feel like we have all of their workflows down. This is one of those services where we can just kind of go and take a look and say, hey, we noticed that you um, have all of these people looking like they're reporting to you, but I know such and such on your team is actually managing them. It's a good idea for you to be able to move uh, the direct reports right underneath of who they're reporting to now so that any upcoming team members will also know like who's second in command if my manager happens to be yeah. off. Um, so we can use it as a resource tool. And it's always one of those things that is never um, urgent enough that you have to do it right away. But it's right. also one of those things that you can bring up that really turns into this little delightful moment because it's like, oh, my accountant's so smart. They know about all these extra features in the software. <laughs> <laughs> it is such a, uh, it kind of builds a little bit more of that relationship, that stickiness with the client. Um, they are aware that you're kind of keeping an eye out for them. Uh, I love that. They're usually like so impressed, builds that confidence a little bit too. So Naya, you brought out something really interesting when we were chatting earlier, which is that you actually use the org chart or this feature at your own firm. So how have you found this helping out your team? And then have you been able to then say, okay, we did it at my firm, now we're gonna do it with our clients? Yeah, super helpful. So my firm is in this process of growing. We hired four new people this year. Um, and so it was really cool for one of my newest employees to be able to, when she filled out all of her onboarding documents to see who else is working in this firm because the team members are mostly remote. So she's very familiar right. with faces now. And, and when she showed up to the first team member, she kind of knew who everyone was. Uh, so that experience just really highlighted for me the importance of, you know, kind of stressing, put your pictures on the org chart <laughs> so that, you know, on your employee profile, so you know exactly who's reporting to who and what that relationship looked like. Um, and so, you know, having that personal experience always kind of guides how we advise our clients too. So it really, like I can kind of point them in the right direction, tell mm -hmm. them how my employee's experience was with it. And it just mm -hmm. kind of lends to the credibility of why things like this are important, even though they may not be top of mind. What? That personal experience, I think, sharing that with the clients of, hey, this is something that I'm using as well. These, This is my employee's experience and mine as a firm owner. Mm -hmm. uh, just really that confidence, again, really builds the client's confidence in you and in the product. 
Well, some really valuable takeaways, which are, hey, when you're able to use things in your own firm, that's the perfect way to learn and experiment. And then you can take those learnings over to your clients. And also, Erin, loved what you said about how this can be such an easy win and delightful moment when you're onboarding clients to payroll or when you see that their team is growing. So thank you both so much for sharing your insights and your time and for hanging out on In The Know. So great to have you here. Thanks Thanks. for having us. Bye. And it's always a pleasure to see Erin. I love her so much. (laughs) Right back at you. (laughs) And thank you for watching this episode. I'm Jacqueline, the host of In The Know and leader of ProAdvisor training and certification. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. We'll catch you next time.